Now let's discuss about how to identify the questions in part C. How to identify your 25 questions or how to choose down your 25 questions in part C for the CSIR UGC NET examination. Right. Now this is the most tedious task. This is the most difficult thing that students find out in the main examination or the most difficult approach that they get for the examination. Now, how should you identify that? First thing should be, you should be focusing upon part C in the initial of your examination timing. Like the very first part that you should be targeting should be part C only. Then for identification, you all get a rough sheet in the examination, right? Now, what you have to do with this rough sheet, if you get the rough sheet before the starting of the examination, very well, very good, utilize that. Just make a column for yourself and in that column, write down the question number, that is 1, 2, 3, up till 75 and then write down the unit and write down the type. This might sound a very tedious task initially, but trust me, if you do this practice in the practicing time during your last 20 days, I'm telling you, you will not utilize more than 7 to 8 minutes in the main examination. Reason being, these 7 to 8 minute investments initially will help you out to save at least 30 minutes of yours in the final, in the upcoming 180 minutes. So, make this as and when the examination starts. Quickly go through the entire paper, quickly go through the part C paper in the fastest speed possible because you have already learned so much, you already have a knowledge of so many things. Just by reading few lines of the question and just by looking at the question, you can get to understand what segment or what type of question is it. For example, you can yourself quickly check that, okay, this is master following, so just write down and this is on unit number 6. So quickly write down unit 6, mass the following. That's it. Don't go into fancy thing or anything. Unit 6, mass the following M. Done. Next question. Unit number 3, this is from statement type. Unit number 2, this is from, let's say, experimental type. So just write EX. That's it. In 7 to 8 minutes, you will be able to paraphrase the entire 75 questions. As a result of this, the main problem that students face that they have not gone through the questions from the paper because of lack of time management is clear. You have gone through all the questions, maybe just for paraphrasing, but they have crossed your mind at least once. Then start with just looking at the question number. Okay, question number 47 is match the following. This is the most scoring type. So go for all the match the following solution in the first go. Quickly go through, quickly tap on 45, check the question, mark the question, solve it, move to other master following. So, this helps you save time. This helps you to find the question because you have a cheat sheet in front of you in the very beginning itself. You can, now some students uh, have some favorite units. Like for example, personally I find plant physiology easy. So, I go to all the plant physiology questions first. I already have a list of the questions from where plant physiology has been asked. So, I will go to those questions only. For example, 54th question, it is from plant physiology. Quickly go to that question, read that question, solve it, move forward to the other one. So, this is how you save time because it's a very simple trick to follow. There is nothing uh, out of the blue I am telling you. but. You have to practice out making this list in the main examination. And I'm telling you, it saves a lot of time. And it helps you to not miss out those questions which could have been done by you if you read the paper properly. Okay. This task requires practice. Okay. Initially, when I was also preparing, it took me 15 to 20 minutes to make it on the first practice session. But by the time I practiced it out 8, and 10, 8 to 10 times, I was able to make it up in 7 to 8 minutes. And in the examination, I guess I took 6 to 6 and a half minutes for solve, uh, making this entire list. It does not take time. This might sound a bit 
difficult to you right now but if you have a mock test series and if that mock test series has those many questions just try this entire uh, exercise and you yourself see that you can save you are able to save your time right so this is how you should be identifying the 25 questions and finding out 25 questions out the 25 questions out of the 75 question is not a rocket science it's a very easy task the only thing that you should be knowing is that your approach should be nice your uh, way of looking into the things should be different if your approach is well proof if your approach is well studied well prepared no one can stop you from qualifying the examination okay so this is how you should identify those uh, your 25 questions from the 75 questions that are there in the part c segment